Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, with the microphone plugged in this time, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! We've got to escape from Kefka in this minecart sequence. If you call this a minecart, I don't know if this is exactly a minecart. We're not really in a mine, are we? Eh, we've got mag to deal with there, week two, fire! So, uh, yeah, Overmind or Templar, bomb, that's the way to go with Gaw there if you need to. Kafka can't catch up. He just can't! Going too fast! Bonus points if you catch the reference. And by the way, those mag rotors are uh, immune to instant death and mute, just so you know. So, uh, yeah, Chainsaw, not the way to go. Yeah, the Jason mask doesn't quite scare them, so not the way to go. Got a nice little 3D sequence here. It's about as good as it gets on the Super Nintendo viewers. We'll make it. Better. Now there's another enemy in here also called Mag Rotor, a red one. If I meet up with it, I'll show it. If not, well, too bad. They're weak to ice. You see, if I had met up with the red Mag Rotors, I would have cast Siren to mute them, because they're not immune to mute. And then I would have cast Phantom on my party ahead of time for this guy. But, oh well, life doesn't always work out the way you want it to. Now I want to see if I can steal a particular item from this guy if I can. No, okay. Well, we'll just keep on working on it. Uh, let's go with Phantom. There we go. Because you see, this guy mostly uses physical attacks. This may or may not be the best battle to demonstrate it in because it doesn't give me perfect immunity. Uh, because he can eventually... No, oh, there we go. All right. Well, that was fast. That's a rare steal, by the way. But we want to get that Tempest Knight from him. Okay, well then let's just go all out. I thought I was going to have to do some edit clever editing, but apparently not. Yeah, he has two arms there. Uh, I took out the one. Uh, Locke really can't do a whole lot in this battle, so he's going to sit on the sidelines there. And hopefully... Uh, number 128 won't cast his spells because once we get hit with magic while we're in clear status um, it'll remove the clear status so it, it's really best to only use it when uh, <laughs> ghost thrill it's really best to only use uh, phantom when you're sure that you're not going to get hit with magic in this battle I should be safe for the most part but not entirely Oh, there we go. All right. Yeah, I can barely see ourselves, but there we go. That's how abusive... That's not even the start of how abusive Phantom can be. It is ridiculously powerful. I'm trying to think of a line from the Temple of Doom during that minecart sequence. Ha <laughs> ha! But I guess that won't work. Okay, let's use that save point, heal up, and be right back. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's get out of here. Oh, and here's a particular battle formation that I was looking for. Let's get Aspic going, because this guy's weak to lightning. Or not. We can just go for the old-fashioned way with the chainsaw. But yeah, you want to meet up with this particular battle formation where... Uh, come on, gaw. Well, once you kill the chaser, you're going to have more enemies to deal with. There we go. Got him. So let's have uh, Edgar on standby there. Keep Flash ready to go. Once you kill the chaser, then you've got these trappers to deal with. There we go. Or Gaw can finish them off with Gigabolt. Or Edgar can do the job. Now you want to meet up with this particular battle formation because we're going to want to encounter it later on the Vault. Not for Gaw, but for another character with a similar ability. Oh, hey, Setzer. All right, let's get out of here. You got the airship ready? Uh, she's gone, dude. You're going to have to go back with Maria. I mean, you're a hustler. You know how to do the job. Uh-oh, what's Kefka up to? Well, it doesn't matter, because we're long gone now. Are you going to get another slave crown? What are you going to do from all the way over there? What's going on? 
So he's going to send two stationary objects after our mobile airship. Yeah. Well, he is Kefka, after all. I mean, since when has his mind had to make sense? Let me guess, Setzer. You parked your airship right on top of the thing. Well, even Setzer wouldn't be that stupid. Uh, of course he is. Alright, it's boss time! We've got a couple cranes to deal with, because apparently Setzer doesn't know how to fly! So, we want God to go with Anguiform. Let's take a look at Setzer's ability there, uh, if I ever can. Okay, Setzer has slots. Now, you can rig slots for a couple of his uh, slots' abilities. Let's go with uh, the diamonds here, because that one's pretty easy to rig. You just pause, keep on pausing it until you see a diamond at the top of the next reel, then unpause and hit A. Now once you get two diamonds, the third one is almost always going to be another diamond. The game, the way the random number generator works, it rigs it so that way you can get three diamonds. The same thing works with uh, chocobos as well. So if you get two chocobos, the third one will almost always be another chocobo. For some reason. Do I have Thunderblade? Good. Yeah, angle form, that's the way to go. Let's see, um, I don't know if Chocobop will work, will it? Well, let's find out. Just keep on uh, going like that, and eventually you'll get it. Now, the other ones that you can get, um, the other combinations, and let's wait for a better spot. There we go. Well, I'm not going to be able to show you Chocobop, but it's stronger than 7 Flush, but it only hits ground enemies. So, you know, it's a give and take, but it's still pretty good. Did we make it? All right, we are out of here. Fortunately, even though Setzer only has an airship, the Empire never commissioned him to make one for them. Oh, yeah, we should kind of go back there, huh? Yeah, we're not just, you know, rebelling against the Empire just for financial reasons. We actually have friends we gotta help out, you know? You ought to try it sometime, Setzer. All right, well, we freed some of the esperas. Let's see if uh, Ramu knew what he was talking about. I don't see how this is going to help her. I mean, okay, Tara, so now we got some stones for you. But, I mean, what, uh, magic stones. Yeah. <laughs> what about that magicite, huh? Her father? Where was that? I hope this music doesn't play in the Esper world all the time. That would, like, maybe that explains why Kefka ended up, or how Kefka ended up the way he did. Who are we controlling now? I don't know. What's going on here? Well, let's check it out. Oh, this is Madowin. Wasn't that one of the Espers that we just got? No, let's leave her here. No, no, we have to return with her. But thou must! So what are we going to do with her, then? We got fairy espers, and old espers, and werewolf espers. Apparently, if you're not human, you're an esper. Or a monster. Pendant, huh? Now, if you took a look in your uh, inventory, your rare items, um, you have a pendant in your inventory. It doesn't do anything or have any imp bearing on the plot whatsoever, but whatever. Oh, yeah, that's why we came here. Okay, well, I guess I better take her home. Sounds like a plan. What else is going on here with, uh... Madwin and uh, the human and everything else around here. Let's find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.